Hello and welcome to an Aeronautica Imperialis painting tutorial or video or my approach to painting them. Um, we're going to start with lightning strike fighters um, for the Imperial Navy I think they're called and um, I'm going to sort of try and follow the box art for them. Um, Imperials aren't going to be my fleet but still nice to have them painted up isn't it. So what we're going to do first of all, I'm coming in with leather brown and it's uh, like a light brown and um, all I'm doing guys here Super, super simple. I'm taking a large brush, and I'm just gonna just gonna paint the whole miniature. I primed it in chaos black, and when I prime when I paint this on, I'm going in the direction of the airflow over the wings. Okay, really easy. Yes, my hands are gonna get mucky, you know, it's part of painting. <laughs> and I'm just gonna coat the whole miniature. Okay, and I'm going to do underneath as well. So, for example, under these areas where the bombs are. All the way down, straight down the wings. So this is the, the way the air would hit the plane. And just keep going, it'll build up. Yeah, so you got in the air there. Underneath the sides. And we're going to coat the whole thing. <clears throat> so when we're fully coated, I'll come back to you. And there we go. So that initial layer is all, all dried and it sort of follows the, the wing pattern of the plane. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to give this now a light dry brush of a, a sort of lighter colour. Um, the idea is I'm putting all the base colours down and I'm going to tie it all together with a wash and then do a bit of weathering. So next step, I'm coming in with skeleton bone. You can use a chapter bone, whatever you want really. Uh, good shake. And we're going to be really sort of lightly dry brushing with this. So I'm going to put some onto my onto my paper. Okay. And I'm working it into the bristle so it's ever so light. And across the plane again. But this time I'm going at different angles. Yeah, just to give it a bit of a bit of a tickle for want of a better word just with this this off color okay it'll just just help it pop a little bit when the wash goes on yeah don't forget the edges bottoms and go back some more paint if you need it and the undercarriage. So again, I'm just going down the full plane. Yeah, at this sort of scale, more is often less, if that makes sense. Um, just make it pop just enough, you know, just so it looks cool. There we go. So that's a, a bit of a, a dry brush basic over the top. I'm going to let that dry and then we'll come back, pick out some more detail, get some washes on there. And there we go. So that's now thoroughly dry. Um, all those sort of aspects and edges are all picked up and you can start to see the sort of direction of flow, so to speak. Um, so now we're going to start adding some details in. So a top tip, um, I've added a spare flying stand just to a spare base. I'm going to mount him on it. Just allows me to easily handle the miniature. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, there are some areas of white on the model. So we're going to come in with some Corax white. And we're just going to pick those out. Now the areas of white on there, they're not, not great. It's a bit more of a shape, doesn't it? There we go. They're not, they're not mass areas of white. It's not a... You tend to find on like the towel ship and things like that, they tend to have more white on there. So what we're going to do, wing tips. There's a nice panel line on there, you see, so we can sort of get in there and, and do the wing tips. Obviously that means edges of the wings.
Now it's just sort of like picking out those details just to make it pop. And when we get to the stage of washing the miniature, adding a little bit of bit of weather into it, should all this base coat should all be tied together. Okay, so go down the edges there. The back. Now the wingtips on the top there. I'm not entirely certain about them. On the on the art for the the game, they uh, they have it sort of painted a line, and that's incredibly hard to do and make it look not rubbish, if that makes sense. <laughs> so what we'll try and do here is we'll just try and go across the top. Yeah, one quick brush stroke, as if somebody's actually just got a. Of paint and just gone across it the actual thing if it was real you know painting straight lines is really difficult the quicker you move your brush in one sort of dedicated sweep the easier it'll be so there we go, you know, so I've got uh, just a little tack at the front there just to sort of make them look as if they've been painted on, some servitor or something. And go over those again. Yeah. There we go, so that's the white that we're going to put on the, the, uh, the plane done. Okay, what we're going to do now, we're going to come in and add some silver detail. And we're going to do that with army paint of gunmetal. Give it a good shake. Now we're using gun metal. You can use any 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 metallic here, guys. It doesn't need to be army painter. It's just one that I had to hand. Um, this is sort of close to standard metallics that I have. Um, glass cannons or the I think these are scatter not scatter lasers. That's a filthy xenos, isn't it? That multi laser. Is it a multi laser? Yeah, and I'm just going in, I'm doing the full thing, including the underneath. Yeah, we've got things like the engine block. So we're going to come in there. Check out that area. The other side as well. See how much easier it is on a base. We're gonna look. We're gonna do those on the various metallic. It's got engines. Either side. Literally, I'm um, <laughs> not going to camera stamp. Literally, I'm just blocking in that colour. Yeah. Underneath, he has this sort of. I imagine that's like an air intake on the front. Or his turbine is, whatever you want to call it. Whatever it is, it's getting silvered. Okay. And then there's these sort of like vent things, I imagine they're sort of stabilizers. So they can be. Silver as well, just just that little bit of extra. Ooh, what's that detail on your plane? Mm -hmm. Missiles will come to in a minute. Next thing I'm going to do with silver, I'm going to have a little bit of battle damage, and the way I'm going to do that, I'm just draw my brush backwards. 
I'm not going over the top of this. Yeah, just in the direction that the plane would go. Yeah, tiniest, tiniest bit. Okay, so that's the silver done. Now with the missiles, there's, there's sort of two ways of doing them. You could do them white, I suppose, or you could do them metallic. Um, I'll tell you what, let's do them metallic. Still metallic. And those missiles. And on the underside of the plane, I'm just going to add a bit more of the sort of battle damage weathering. Yeah, it's a bit of sort of realism marks, I guess. Yeah. Maybe some on the side. Yeah, just the odd one here and there. It doesn't need to be massive. Okay. There's our metallics down. A little bit of battle damage. And we're going <clears> to <throat> almost miss the entire engine blocks on that. was good. So there's like an area here which will do that metallic as well because it does look like it's something to do with like the air intake. There we go, so we let that thoroughly dry. We'll come back, pick up the black, do the cockpit and add a wash. Okay, so that's the... Uh, base colours are starting to sort of build up and it's starting to come to life really so what we're going to do now is pick out the windscreens and then pick out some black areas so the windscreens I'm just going to start with um, Caldor Sky lightish blue basically whatever whatever it is that you want blue is a good sort of base point for this and eventually we'll sort of make it look as if those windows are a glass essentially I don't know if they'll be glass would they in the uh, 41st millennium? I don't know. Anyway, and it's a small brush for this one, guys. I'm just painting in those window areas, okay? Having it on the little base really does help. On the other side. And then like the top of the cockpit. Pilots like to be able to see above them, don't they? Okay, so that's the, uh, the windows are in. And then we're going to come in and just pick out some of the black areas. Now it's not a great deal on the miniature. Let's close our blue. And we're going to come in with Corvus Black. Okay. Tiny bit of water. And we're just going to pick out things like these pipes. Oh, they are fuel pipes, something like that.
and then just the <coughs> end of the uh, the gun, so to speak. Okay, so there are the black details picked out. There's not a great deal on there. It just adds, just makes it do something, something else basically to the model. Okay, so once they're dry, we can then look at touching up any little areas. So you just go back to your original things. So if you've gone over the windows, anything like that, just touch them up, and then we'll be uh, washing all the model together. So uh, once that's done, that'll let us. Uh, move on to the next stages. So I'll come back to you when we're ready to wash. Okay, so now that's all dry, that's our base coat. <clears throat> and hey, you could quite happily fly that, you know? No, no, <laughs> it's fully painted plain with a bit of weathering on it. Um, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shade it all down. I'm gonna use Quick Shade Dark Town. Okay, I'm gonna add it into my little reservoir here. And I'm gonna add a bit of water to it just to take away this sort of excessive colour and I'm just going to work my way across the whole plane. In the direction, again just like we did before, we're going to go in the direction of the actual airflow. Okay, over the windscreens, over everything. Okay, over the white, All the way. From one end of the miniature to the other. Okay. And it really starts to bring it to life. It'll flow into all of those panels, all the little gaps. Make our miniature just all that more realistic. You say that's what we want, isn't it? Okay. Weapons down the side of the miniature. Not forgetting the engines. Underneath. And this is a spare flying stand, <clears throat> so don't worry if you get any on there, okay? It's the beauty of sort of basing it, so to speak. The missiles. We're trying to go in one direction with our brush strokes. Okay, just need a little bit more wash in my reservoir and I'm still going all the same direction from the front of the wings to the back making sure that I'm covering every aspect of the model The air intake on the front. Make oh, watch out for any pooling. And there you go. Okay. So we're gonna leave that to dry thoroughly, then come back for final touches. And there we go. So the uh, the wash is dry, and uh, we have essentially a nicely weathered, realistic looking plane. Um, at this scale, I wouldn't add any panel highlights to that because uh, you've got to think of this scale, a bloke's about, what, a couple of mil? <laughs> so so it's like panel highlights on that could soon look like the road markings on a, on a car. Um, but what we are going to do is just add a couple of extra stages to it just to make it really pop. And the first thing we're going to do, we're going to bring out our colourless black and we're going to add some really fine, with a small brush,
really fine sort of weathering effect. So where we put the silver, we're now just going to go into the middle of it. Let's just add a bit of additional lineage with the black. Just looks like it's scorched a little bit. It's taken a hit, so to speak. And we can do a bit extra here and there, just around those areas. Yeah. Yeah. Again, it just makes it look a bit more realistic. Any other areas? We've got one there on the, the wing, the tail bit. There we go. Have a look underneath him. I think underneath's fine, to be fair. Any more up there? Maybe we'll put a, just a little bit of a scuff there. Scuff there. Okay. And then we're going to make the windscreens look a bit special. So we're going to come in with our original uh, Caldor Sky. Okay. Put some on our palette with some water. And I'm going to add the same again to that mix, Corax White. So it's created a light blue. And with that light blue, I'm going to come into the windows. And all I'm going to do is just put a few lines. Yeah, across the top. It just acts as a little reflexive point. And a miniature. Okay. And there, we, there we go. One painted Imperial Fighter. So, the next step there, obviously, we'll put him on a proper flying stand so we can point off that one, keep it for the next time, so to speak. Pop him on there. And there we go. One completed Aeronautica Imperial Fighter. So, more than happy to begin with that. I think it looks pretty cool. I think it'll pop on the tabletop. And he has some good dog fights. Um, I'll maybe come back at some point and add some sort of like decals and so on and so forth to him. Um, more videos coming soon for Aeronautica. Thank you for watching. We're going to try and do a Valkyrie. Um, got a few ideas for that. And then obviously we'll do some, some Tau. Uh, but there we go. One fully painted weathered plane. Thanks for watching guys. As always, please like, subscribe, follow for more Aeronautica and more painting videos. And happy hobbying.